Okay guys, I want to apologize. I'm sorry I didn't see this stuff earlier, but now that I found out about it, I think it's worth talking about. Okay, first I want to talk about Natter Red, a freak eating. He's well known for his capacity. He's a school teacher, awesome guy. Uh, his channel Freak Eating, it'll be in the description if you don't know about him. But he he just does outrageous stuff. I know he took a bit of a hiatus over the last, well, up to like a few months ago. A few months ago, he started up doing crazy stuff again. What I'm looking at, he did eight and a half pounds, guys, over a gallon of straight salsa. Natter ate a gallon of straight salsa with a spoon. That's just crazy. Natter, he's just keeping it up, punishing himself with a really insane, really insane and difficult and weird and gross challenges but that's what he does best that's what he's that's what he's gotten himself into uh, and he does it really well he says that it was on his bucket list a uh, gallon of salsa is on your bucket list I don't know why I don't know why that's something that would make your bucket list man that is really disgusting uh, that's that's an amazing feat in my opinion that's just something that I would never have never considered doing so yeah, kudos to you, Natter. You're doing great. You're doing great. So keep up what you're doing. Next, if you guys didn't think that was weird and gross enough, now our next piece of news, Blumgum. So Blumgum, uh, he's been really sporadic with his channel, just inconsistent really. Uh, I've been subscribed to him for about a year now and he's been on and off just uploading videos like once a month or once every other month and now it looks like he's trying to get back onto some kind of regular schedule it seems like so Blumgum does the 50 snail challenge so he tries to be unique and do his own gross thing from time to time and this video definitely snails I've tried snail escargot and I cannot say that I was a fan of it I had a long time ago but it's just absolutely nasty. 50 snails in a little over three minutes. The goal for him was to eat it in 50 seconds, but it took him three minutes. I'm sure the texture and taste of the snails weren't too amazing to keep you keep you going at that fast pace. So Blumgum, that's disgusting, but good job. Okay, we talked about Natter, we talked about Blumgum, so let's go. I, I meant to talk about this in part one, but it completely slipped my mind. I don't know why this was actually one of my main talking points in the first part, but I didn't even mention it at all. So last week, if you guys knew, it was a world moon pie eating contest. So the moon pie eating contest was special for a few reasons for me. Uh, one, I actually had the privilege of riding up there. I went with Gideon OG. If you guys didn't know, me and Gideon live about an hour apart, and I do hang out with him from time to time. And I actually did drive up with him to the contest in Memphis. The contest was in Memphis, Tennessee. It was the second annual moon pie eating contest. Got to meet up with a couple of friends that are competitive eaters. It was really, it was a really a fun time. Uh, Sophia was there, Juan was there, Jeff Esper, Carmen Sincotti, Matt Stoney, and it was real, and Gideon Oji, of course. But the, the main thing about this contest that made it exciting for me was the fact that Carmen was coming off of a victory against Stoney. He did lose to Joey and Poutine. The, the, the Poutine contest is a huge contest. Carmen took second. Carmen took second, and Stoney actually took third. He took third, finished behind Carmen, which is crazy to me because Stoney, I just. In my mind, Stoney is the best, um, and seeing him lose like that in a capacity contest like that is just really hard to believe. I really wanted to see Stoney go for revenge and get vengeance against Carmen, uh, and that he did. He definitely blew it out of the water, set a world record 85 moon pies, smashing his last year's world record by 16, destroyed his own record, and that was just... It just kind of was reassuring to me that Stoney is on top, you know, in some things, especially sweets. Sweets, it's very difficult to beat Stoney in sweets. He's just got a knack for eating a lot of sweets. I don't know why, I don't know how. He's Like Nathan Figueroa said, he is an alien, he is out of this world, and 85 moon pies. I think that's going to be a record that stands to the test of time. I think if anyone is going to beat that record, it will be Stoney, and it will not be by much. I think 85 is about the limit. Uh, it's it's like hot dogs where you reach the 70 mark and it's just kind of teetering around that number It's not really gonna go up much more than that But it was a really great contest to see really good to see Stoney and Carmen face off and Jeff Esper with a surprise third place finish 62 moon, 62 moon pies uh, almost breaking last year's record great job Esper and yeah, it was all around a great time. So it was uh, Sofia Davida's birthday, and uh, one more bite, Juan Rodriguez's birthday was coming up the next week. So I think they had some kind of celebration. Couldn't stay for that, unfortunately. Maybe maybe next time. But yeah, it was a great time overall. Had tons of fun. Great seeing you guys again. And that is pretty much the story about the moon pie eating contest. Okay, and this is not the biggest piece of news, but I really found this entertaining and funny. You guys probably won't find it funny, but I really did find it funny, so I'm going to talk about it. So I talked about how Joey Chestnut has his own channel now in the last video. So Joey Chestnut, his own channel, of course, it's called Joey Chestnut. He recently added a picture of himself before it was just like a 
generic YouTube avatar, so now he has a picture of himself. And if you read the description of his uh, saute challenge, I think both of his videos have a similar description, but if you read the description of his saute video, it actually says, edited by Carmen Sincati. So I think it's really funny how both of them, Carmen Sincati has his own channel and now Joey has his own channel. And I thought Joey was doing his own thing, but then, you know, Joey's not exactly the most uh, YouTube editing tech savvy, I would say. So <laughs> he got Carmen Sincati, what a pal, came in with the clutch helping Joey, helping Joey, a fellow competitor and a friend because I don't know, that's just what I love about competitive eating. It's like everyone's everyone's like each other's enemies and rivals, but at the same time, everyone's each other's friends too outside of the ring. It's really cool. It's really cool that like off the stage that these guys can like hang out and collaborate with each other like this and just have fun together like this and be editing each other's videos and just, I don't know, it, it seems really cool. It, I didn't notice that yesterday when I was looking at his channel, but now when I read the description, I saw that Carmen actually made this video. So props to you, Carmen. Kudos for being a good friend. And yeah, I think that's gonna close out this second part. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't get all of this into the first part. I totally, I totally forgot, completely slipped my mind to add all this stuff in there. And uh, some of it I knew about, some of it I didn't, but I wanted to talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, it's, it's gonna help my channel grow. The more people see the videos, the more people like it, the more chances it'll be in the recommended videos, and the more people can see the videos, it would help me out a lot if you guys left a like rating and also subscribe if you like the content and want to see more so that's all i have for you guys in this video and i think i actually will wait a few days until i make another one for next week's edition uh, this one ended up being long thank you everyone for the positive feedback i really do appreciate it and i will keep doing this this is really fun to do for me thank you everyone for tuning in it has been king carb with this week's edition of competitive eating weekly until next week see you guys later have a good one